Hey guys, I'm Elbow and welcome back to the channel. In this video, which is part two of this little mini series where me and my friends go to Fuji Speedway for an event with Option Magazine, we're gonna be checking out the main event. So hope you enjoy it and I'll catch you guys at the end of the video. Hey, I'm Elbow. I came to Japan as an English teacher, then moved near Tokyo to pursue my passions. I became a filmmaker because I love cars, Japanese culture, and a good story. I'm lucky enough to live the JDM dream. And so my videos are about my car life in Japan where I go to car meets and visit shops, do track days and toge runs, build and review cars, and shoot vlogs, short films, and documentaries about Japan's car culture and history. Join me and my friends on our adventures and find out what it's really like in the land of the rising sun. So hop in, fasten your seatbelts, and enjoy the ride. This Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm once again here, well, I'm still here, uh, if you're watching from a previous video. I'm here at Fuji Speedway for this event with Option Magazine. Right now I'm walking around with the Japonic. Uh, some of the other guys are here, like Masa, Jason, Jeff. So we're gonna catch up with them later. Gonna find them here somewhere. Indra's here too. But let's just go see if we can find some cool cars. You're saying just now, you're like, what is the point of this <laughs> event? I have no idea. I think it's just tuner cars. Just yeah, tuner cars. JDM culture. You know? Organized by Option Magazine. Yes. And you will see the tuners, HKS, Valeside. Yep. All others. Should we go this way? Top speed. Yeah. Uh, we can go that way or this way. Let's just go this way. Oh, we, uh, we are parked over there. Now we are here in this other parking lot before we even get to the main event down there. So you can see we're here at Fuji Speedway. Just want to take a look at a few more cars. This, this is a very, very, very clean FD. Oh man, the thing about FDs is at almost like the almost stock look with just a bit of arrow, just like a front lip, side skirts. It looks perfect already. It looks already perfect. This doesn't, doesn't even need a rear diffuser. You don't need to go too crazy. It looks spectacular. I mean, I think this, okay, for me, RX-7, NSX, S2000, best designs that came out of Japan. Let me know if you agree. Gosh, that interior is just perfect. And these, these, this hood vents, these hood vents. I can't wait to get my vented hood. Look at this very, very nice S2000 over here. I love these wheels. C28s, I kind of see, I want to see what size they are. Let's see, 215. Okay, so this is probably the typical S2000 size. I think 9J and 7.5J. Yeah, 245s, yeah, perfect, perfect size. It's flush with no spacers. Oh man, this is the setup I want. Yes, look at that. The ASM bumper with the siren circuit uh, ASM exhaust. This setup, oh man. And it's a Type S. If he has, oh, he's got the Navi, oh my God, he's got the Navi gauge and the Mugen, the Mugen gauges. This is, oh my gosh, and all oh, double cars, dude. This is dream spec. This is perfect. This is this is perfect. I mean, if I was to get an AP2, it would, this is exactly what it would be. Exactly this car. Exactly this. The only other thing I would do, no, I would do two things. Down skirts, uh, down four side skirts like what I have now, and ASM fender. Or actually, not even down down four. It's just ASM uh, side skirts and the ASM fenders, and that's it. Perfect. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh, I'm so jealous. It's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. Okay. Oh my gosh, one more, one more look. This is so funny because I have the same car. Everything's almost the same, but uh, this is just so nice. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I'm so excited for my bumper. The bumper like this. Just look at these details. Look at that fitment. Perfect fitment. Okay, I'm super excited. I want this so badly now. So this is coming this month. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's gonna look incredible. Yeah. Look at this. All right. Look at this one. Look at this. This is sick. This is really sick. Freaking time attack. Look how only the front has the wide fender. That's so cool. Look at that. Front wheel drive. Huge wheels at the front. 245s in the front. 
And what's in the rear? 225s. Wow. Look at that. Super, super cool build. Oh, I love this. Yep, I, lo I love this. All right, a couple details. Just take a quick look. This looks amazing. Super wide kit on his 34. Canard on this, that's completely insane. I don't know if you guys can get the, uh, how, how 3D this looks. This looks like an Evangelion, very cool. And oh my God, it's Kakimoto Racing NSX. Just incredible. Look at that. Can't drive it anywhere, but it's hard parked. This car is perfect for like Fuji Speedway, but it just looks completely insane. Oh my God. Over here, we have the new T-Spec GTR and the Nismo GTR. Very, very cool. That's nice. <laughs> like Millennium Jade is the Millennium Jade color. Yeah, very sick. Okay, we lost. We lost. Japan. So we're gonna start up the. Probably not the smartest idea to just stand here like that. That was crazy. Woo. That was that was super 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 loud. Okay. All right, let's find the guys. Okay, now that we are far far away, no, we're, we're right beside it, but it's, it's off now. Check out this uh, Time Attack R33. Completely insane. Look at that. <laughs> the diffuser or the front splitter is just absolutely wild and look how far they extend past probably like a foot almost a foot past the fender <laughs> tiny carbon mirrors look at this wing Voltex dry carbon Oh my gosh, can barely even fit in the frame and this is a wide angle camera. Super massive diffuser. I mean, when I see a car like this, I almost feel like you know, it's just it's just too heavy now, but actually all these parts probably weigh like nothing. It's crazy. There you are. What was that? Which one? Uh, a drag racer, just a, they're just shh. 3,000 horsepower. 3,000, yeah, yeah. I had to close my ears. Me too, me too. It was shaking my eardrums. It was shaking like my whole lungs. Oh, it's crazy. I right, check this out. There's a Midnight GTR over here. This is real. These uh, pink Midnight stickers, that means, you know, you're kind of in training in a way. You're, you're not at the level of like the main members. But Midnight is making a comeback in the scene. There are a lot more like circuit focused, not circuit, well, kind of like track focused. Not really doing a lot of street these days, at least not officially. Yeah, but it's very cool to see a midnight car out in the wild. There's probably a whole bunch of them here. We'll find them. Yeah, this looks sick. I just had to shoot a video because it's yellow. <laughs> it's got the Yanks bumper, which is my favorite bumper on the A90. I think it fixes it main problem with the A90 uh, Supra is the stupid two parts of the front, but this Ings bumper totally fixes it. This looks amazing. Uh, very cool.
Okay, you, know, you guys know what? I've been walking around a little bit and it's just super exhausting to do like a little segment on every single car. So we're gonna do this and we're just gonna do like a montage. So enjoy this montage of a bunch of the cars that I see. Hello, friendly foreigners. <laughs> foreigners. Foreigners. Main biggest foreigner here. I got a mask on. It's bro. a pa Patagonia shirt. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, Patagonia that's, that's the main tail. Like yeah, and also that, it's yeah. also the, the Velcro strap on the Apple Watch. That's the other main tail. Yeah. <laughs> well, how's your filming today? Uh, there's too much to film. It's kind of exhausting. I'm kind of like, oh gosh, I've edited all this. I don't know. It's over there somewhere. You know what? I barely seen any S2000 except for that one right there. Oh, you want to film for your S2000, bro? Yeah. See any? Any good ones? No. Nope. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm gonna end this video here, and we're gonna do part three in the next video since uh, Jeff and Savage Masa are now here with me. Uh, so we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, Jamata. Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed part two of this little mini series. So once again, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel by picking up merch and for supporting the Patreon. Your support means the world and it enables adventures like this to happen here in Japan. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in part three.